We'll have some comments from Kevin Owen. Split seven in our Black Angus bulk house. I'll start with a pair of interesting bulls on top here. Uh, you can flip these bulls back and forth, whatever you you prefer in, for your own program. But the calf, I think, that started this class, he's the freshest of the two. He's got a lot of character in that front end. He's big enough top. He's really good in his feet and legs. Good testicle development. Just uh, There's really not a hole in this calf, and I don't think he's quite as far along in his maturity as what the calf is behind him by being fed. So this calf we're going to live with today, I really love that calf. Calf in second, a really good calf when you get him on the side profile. But you get up in front of him, he turns out in his front feet a little bit, his knees are a little tight together, a little narrow chested for me. He's really soft made, he's big hipped and big topped. But I just uh, would like to free him up in his front end a little bit to go ahead of the calf that uh, wins the class. Calf in third, another big performance class, calf, uh, big bodied, big hip, lots of testicle, gets out and really moves. Uh, just, uh, just a really eye appealing calf too. Calf and fourth, super long bodied calf, big hip, big nuts. He's going to be a big powerhouse down when you get to the bull sale time in the spring. Calf and fourth, a little more style in this calf. Just gives up a little bit too much performance to stand any higher. Same with the calf after. Very nice, eye appealing kind of calf. Just not quite enough mass to stand any higher. And the calf, we round out the class with just got to soft him up and put a little more base underneath him to stand any higher today. But good, good class. Thank you, Kevin. So leading off this class is entry number 2246, HF Intervention 65G, shown by Hamilton Farms. Second in the class is 2206, SCC Checkbook 2G, shown by Stewart Cattle Company. Third in class is entry number 2208, J Square S Prairie Gold 989G, shown by J Square S Angus. Fourth in class is entry number 2211. Harvey Crest, Texas Jack, 9035G, shown by Harvey Crest Cattle Company. Fifth in class is entry number 2267. DFCC 107D George, 1G, shown by Double F Cattle Company. Sixth is entry number 2213, Crescent Creek Alternative, 21G, shown by Crescent Creek Angus. And seventh is entry number 2261, Keys Chisholm 453G, shown by 4K Angus from Earl Gray. Entry number 2251 was a scratch in that class. We now move into split eight of our bull calves. These calves are born from January the 12th to the 14th of 2019. And this class is sponsored by Smart Angus Farms, Musselman, Saskatchewan. Let's go ahead and put our hands together for these exhibitors. This is a Real impressive set of females out here. I mean, right from the front to the back, I mean, I like all these. I mean, they got that rib shape I like. They're structurally sound. They got some length of body. They got some look to them. I think they're cattle that have a lot of future. I guess with that, I'm going to go out and show you my two favorites here. Sorch Crown Champion female coming out of the senior division is entry 2399, red six mile fanny, 149D with her calf at side, red six mile fanny, 330G, exhibited by six mile red Angus and Sunbury Valley Farms. So coming out of our senior yearling division is entry 2383, Red Six Mile Miss Pathy from Six Mile Red Angus. So congratulations, entry 2383 from 
from Six Mile Red Angus. Once again, the Reserve Grand Champion female. Hey, pretty unique here, Crane. You get to sponsor your own award. Six Mile Red Angus is a sponsor of the Red Reserve Grand Champion female. At this time, I'd uh, just like to recognize a huge donation from Running Steady Ranch at Lloyd Minster. They've donated the heifer that will be sold at Dutch auction tomorrow at the Farm Perfection Sale for the Canadian Junior Angus Scholarship Fund. Uh, Drace is out here showing right now, so Drace, we sure appreciate you guys and your family stepping forward and, and uh, supporting the Canadian Junior Angus Association with your do donation to the heifer. Thank you very much. Comments from Kevin on split eight of his bull calves. Oh, we got a calf that quite handily wins this class here. He's a pretty neat individual. He's super stout, uh, really good in his lines. He's really good in his feet and legs. He's got a lot of character up into that front end. Lots of testicle development. Just an awfully, awfully, awfully good individual. Calf in second just gives up quite a bit of performance, but he kind of follows the pattern of our first place calf. He's fairly stout when you get in behind him. He's cleaning his lines. He's not bad on his feet and legs. Uh, he's just a little bit greener at this time of year. And we've got a big frame calf here in third that uh, maybe does a smidge big for me here today, but he maybe like to make him a little fuller over top of his shoulder and stuff like that. Just a little bit narrow in his heart, but uh, big, easy moving kind of calf too that's going to lay down a lot of pounds for somebody down in the spring. And the calf round out the class with a uh, nice, smooth, uh, stylish individual. Just not enough muscle mass this calf for me to stand any higher. Needs a little more character in that front end too. Thank you, Kevin. So leading off the class is entry number 2245. HF Pit Boss 25G shown by Hamilton Farms and Leslie Pelche. Second in class is entry number 2214. Crescent Creek Alternative 17G shown by Crescent Creek Angus. Third in class is entry number 2265. ACC Stunner, 14G, shown by Anderson Cattle Company. And fourth in class is entry number 2228, RSR Premier, 217G, shown by Running Steady Ranch. There were two scratches in that class. You could scratch 2234 and 2249. We now move into our ninth and final split of bull calves. These calves were born from January the 1st to January the 10th of 2019. And this class is sponsored by Sunny Grove Angus, Radville, Saskatchewan. Looks like we have one scratch in this class. You can scratch 2209.
Jones for the rednecks rockin' till the break of dawn. For the DJ spinning that country song. Come